There are currently two Income Tax Assessment Acts. The Income Tax Assessment Act 1997, abbreviated as ITAA 97, and the Income Tax Assessment Act 1936, abbreviated as ITAA 36. Why are there two acts? Originally, there was only the ITAA 36. However, it was decided that the legislation should be rewritten in simpler form. The project to simplify the legislation is called TLIP, the Tax Law Improvement Project. However, rewriting the whole ITAA 36 at once was too big a task. So a piecemeal approach was taken. A portion of the ITAA 36 was rewritten in simplified form. Once rewritten, it would no longer be in the ITAA 36, but would instead be in the ITAA 97. However, although the process began over 15 years ago, it has yet to be finished. This means that the legislation that has been rewritten is in ITAA 97, and those parts that have yet to be rewritten are still in the ITAA 36. When the process of rewriting is eventually finished, there will only be the ITAA 97 for the law in effect at that time. The ITAA 97 has a hierarchical system with the following. Chapters, parts, divisions, subdivisions. There are six chapters in the ITAA 97. Each chapter's title broadly describes what falls under it. For instance, Chapter 1 is titled Introduction and Core Provisions, whereas Chapter 5 deals with Administration. Each chapter will have several parts, and these will be numbered starting with the chapter number. For instance, the first part of Chapter 2 will be Part 2-1. Parts will have divisions. A particular division's number will correspond to the sections in that division. For instance, Division 15 will have all sections starting with Section 15 in it, such as Section 15-5 and Section 15-20. Some divisions will have subdivisions in them. These will be numbered alphabetically. For instance, Division 20 contains Subdivision 20-A and Subdivision 20-B. For the ITAA 36, the structure is slightly different and has the following hierarchy. Parts, divisions, subdivisions. There are 10 parts in the ITAA 36, all in Roman numerals, meaning that the ITAA 36 has parts one to part 10. Some parts have divisions and some divisions have subdivisions. Unlike the ITAA 97, the division and subdivision numbers do not correspond to the section numbers they contain. There are two other important points. The first one is that sections in the ITAA 97 have dashes in them, such as section 25-10, whereas sections in the ITAA 36 do not, such as section 97. The second other important point is that the ITAA 97 has some sections that are guides. These are distinct from the operative provisions of the ITAA 97. The operative provisions are most of the sections in the legislation, and they contain the actual law. Guides, as the name suggests, are sections that help explain the operation of the legislation. When interpreting legislation, it is the content of the operative provisions that is of primary importance. You can access provisions of the ITAA 36 and ITAA 97 online. Follow the link which gives you access to all Commonwealth legislation and then click on I. You can then access either of the Income Tax Assessment Acts.